Okay, hi, and welcome to uh, this Cinelera tutorial where I'm going to try and teach you how uh, to do moving masks. I'm assuming that you already know the basics of Cinelera and also some of the sort of basic principles of masking, but I, I will go over that briefly. Basically, we've got two tracks here that we can uh, mask between. So, uh, you know, a mask is basically you just draw it, and you are allowed to draw it by highlight clicking on this edit mask tool. And as you can see, it just kind of draws a picture where you can see through down to the other track. Um, or, if you want to choose that instead, it goes the other way, where you can actually see the track. So we're going to leave it on that for now. Also, you have options like feather, so if you do that, you can see you get kind of a, a feathered edge to it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to, as you can see, let's go to here. The first thing we want to do is we want to get some moving room. So if you middle click, or on the case of a laptop, like I have clicked both buttons at the same time, you can drag this to the middle, you get a lot of scrap area. You'll see why that's useful in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a simple split screen. Now, the easiest way to make sure that it's exactly in the middle is to know how many pixels high it is, which in this instance this is 352 pixels high, so 176 is half of that. So the y-axis is the vertical axis, so 176. And then I'll click on this, again click on the question mark. We get 176. And you end up with it exactly in the halfway. You can also always click on the, just the camera automation just to see it, how it looks without, without the mask, yeah? So, without those sort of distracting lines. So as you can see, it, it carries on like that. Now, as you can see these green marks here, those are keyframes. So if you go view, you choose view mask, now you can't see them, now you can. So here, it's this shape, and here, it's this shape. So in between the two, it will move to the right shape. Now you can take advantage of that to do all sorts of fun things. So if I delete that keyframe, it just defaults to, to the next one. Um, but what I can do is, if we go back into here, back into the mask, if I was doing this properly, I would use the numbers, as I showed you, with it, within the options to make sure that this is sort of exactly level, but that's that's not necessary to give you an idea of the basic principle. If we do this so that it's th there is no mask, it's going to move across smoothly. So, for example, like this. Well, not quite so smoothly, because as you can see, I've, I've got that diagonally because I didn't make sure that they were both level with each other each time, but... You know, that's that's the basic idea there. Okay? So now if I were to say mute this, um, not not the top track, but the track with this guy in it, see? You've actually got it coming across a dark track. And now say by well maybe what I want to do is have this one come across from the other side. So what I want to do again, as you see, edit the mask, make sure we have the right track selected. And again, I will draw my little square. This is very annoying. You always end up with two circles here, so it's easiest to just drag it out and sort it out that way. Masks and similar are not the easiest things to use. Again, try and make sure that's vertical. Maybe we'll do a bit better with the vertical this time. Um, put it all over here. And obviously you can still see this, so we haven't got it right, so we want to go to multiply alpha, so you can't see anything there. Okay? And then, say by here, we want it to have moved all the way across. So here we make sure that we drag this, like this. And again, I should really have, you know, made sure that that's at 176, so I'm not overlapping, but you, you get the idea. Um, and so now what we have, if we go from the start, is this comes across, and then this comes across. You see? And it looks better if you can't actually see the masks, if you go to say that, and you watch it come across, and you watch this come across. Yeah? And then you can also, you can choose to adjust the zoom levels if you wanted to say see hit lower on his face, um, or you wanted to see this guy's face, for instance, if I just choose to view camera Y, whatever we can do this, sort of, say, I don't know, 50, 
oh, that's the wrong way, so minus 50. And you can see all of a sudden, you can, you know, you, you can adjust where you want to see in this. Um, and, and that's it, basically. I mean, you can use that to do all sorts of tricks. You could split it four ways. Um, the one thing I would note is that a mask, it exists for the entirety of, of, the, of the track. You, you cannot get rid of it. You can change the shape and the location, but the mask is there for the whole of the track. So if you don't want it for whatever reason, say if I just wanted to mute that, just just turn it off. You don't still... Yep. I mean, this is still masked because this one lower down is still masked. It, it wouldn't be otherwise, but, you know, if see, and then it, and then it shows up again. So, um... <clears throat> Just, you need to have, have one track per mask, basically. Um, and then, you know, you can, you can drop anything else in there. You can also, you can have multiple tracks. Um, sorry, I apologize. You can have multiple masks. See, for example, um, if I maximize this. Yes, yeah, so this is mask number one. If I go up to mask number two, see, I could draw another one. Like that. Yeah. So that this is here. Um, so then, actually this is a good example of what I mean, because when I go across here, if I go here, see suddenly that mask disappears. So it's not like there's just a giant black space here, it, it does disappear if there's nothing. This is still black because this, this, this lower track is actually masked itself, you know, that's, that's on this track. So, but then when it comes back, again, the mask comes back, I can't just delete that. I could move it somewhere else, but I can't get rid of it. Um, and the final thing I would note, which is really annoying, is the mask has to have the same number of points. So say, for example, I accidentally did that, it would come back over here. And you see, it's, it's, this, is, this is moving because it goes, and, and, and that kind of screws up all of your mask movement and stuff. It's, it's a real pain in the ass, you have to be careful about that. But anyway, masks are fun, and hopefully that's explained something to you.